Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to, how to add an image to your signature in the Fastface webmail. So this is for uh, mailboxes, uh, the Mail Lite and the Mail Extra and it's just a question we get asked sometimes so it's sometimes just easier just to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and just run through it in this video. So the first thing we need to do is log in. So I'm going to login.livemail.co.uk and logging into my mailbox here which is a Mail Extra. Let's put my password in. Okay, so once we're logged in, we're going to go to settings. I want to save that for now. And we're going to go to identities. And then we're going to obviously select my email address there. And we've got our signature at the bottom here. So we're going to then click on this image here. And from the, there's two things we can do now. We can either put an image uh, from an external link so that would be if you've got your image hosted elsewhere or we can upload our own image now if you upload your own image you've got a limit of 64 kilobytes which is obviously quite small so you might find you have to host it elsewhere but I'll show you how to do both anyway um, so first things first I'm going to upload my own image so I'm going to click on there and add image And here on my computer, I've got two versions of this. So I'm just going to do the Fastface logo here. Uh, and I've got one here that is actually under under the file size. But I'm just going to show you what happens if you try and upload something that's too big, just so you can see it. You can see here, I've got an, an error saying the upload file exceeds a min uh, the maximum. So if you get that, you're either going to have to shrink the image somehow. Uh, and you can use, I mean, there's multiple tools online that can help you do that to shrink an image size. Or we're just going to have to... Uh, host it on an external URL, which was also really straightforward. But let's just add the one that we know works. So there we go. If we just click on that now, um, what we can do if we want to is just change the width and height if um, if they're too big, too small, or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and it should just appear there. Right. Uh, if you're good, if you're done with the video there, make sure you click save. But I'm just going to show you how to host, how to how to use an external image. So this will be one. It has to be on a website that's accessible. So I have to be able to access it in a browser. So I've actually got um, one somewhere uh, on my Fastface webinars URL where I've just uh, had it. So it's FH logo. I think it's called. Just double check. So you have to be able to put it into a browser and see the image. So there we go. So if I go to that URL, the image shows there. So this is quite easy for me because I've got a, a website that I can just host the image on. If you haven't got a website and you need to host the image, there's a website called Imga. Um, I won't go on it for now, but if you just do a search, it's I-M-G-U-R. Um, and you can you can use a free account to host an image uh, just like I'm doing here. So if you need to do that, yeah, you can go on there. But if we go ahead and do the image again, and if we just do copy that URL there, pop that in there. Now, what we can see is that uh, the width and the height are very big. So if we save that, you're going to see it's far too big. So what you can do if we just... Uh, Go back into that image there. We can just bring the uh, the size down. And if you if this little lock is closed, it's going to keep the dimensions so it doesn't get too distorted when I change it. I'm just going to change it down to 300. Save that. And there you go. That is really all there is to it. Uh, you can add other stuff to this signature as well. So if you wanted to uh, add text as well. So your text here. Um, so what you see is what you get edited there. So you can use all of these uh, highlights, links, all of that sort of thing. So we go ahead and save that. And now if it's been, you see, you'll see it's been successfully saved. Now if we go to compose, it should show. However, it won't for me now, just because for a reason. So we can see here, I've got your text here. So I'm in compose here got your text here but the image isn't showing so if you do run into that it's not a problem if we go back into settings and if we go back into we're in preferences and it's composing messages and we'll see here uh, we've got uh, compose html messages at the moment it's set to never if we change it to always and save and then if we go back to compose 
we should hopefully see it. It's just loading. Sometimes it can take a second to load. There we go. So then the image is showing there. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.